Hey guys, this is BBB Production, and this is a, another video tutorial. First of all, I want to mention my partner, Yo2BVid. There'll be a link to his YouTube in the video description. Make sure to subscribe to him and check out his videos. Um, today I'm going to be talking about another program that you can buy or download. Um, some people might ask, why is he going to teach me about a program that I can buy? Well, the programs I teach you about in my videos are usually programs that are hard to find. Like, there's not too many DVD rippers that are good or free. Um, and there, today I'm going to talk about a video joiner, and there's not too many of those. So, um, you do have to pay for these, but it is worth it in the end. Alright. Today I'm going to be talking about All OK Video Joiner. Just go to Google and type in All OK Video Joiner and search for it. Click on the first result on Google and this will bring you to their website. Now again you can download the free trial or purchase it for $29. It is compatible with all Windows operating systems and it's 8.74 megabytes in size. Um, this program joins all kinds of video files such as AVI, MPEG, WMV, MOV, DIVX, MPG, ASF, RM, um, XVID, DAT, QT, or RMVB. So all these different files is what it joins. Um, and yeah and there's fast conversion speeds and it's a very good program it's the best one i found so far uh... some people might not want to purchase it and there are other ways besides purchasing the program but that is up to you All right. to use this program just open it and then you need two video files Today I'm going to use two AVI um, video clips. Alright, now first of all I'm going to talk about the tabs at the top. First of all there's add files, remove, join, settings, register, blah blah. X is X program, help is get help, home is go to the website, about is to learn about it. Register is to make it from the trial version to the main version settings is to set different um, preferences that you like and then join is to join the files remove is the remove file and add files these options can usually be found over here too but I'm going to teach you how to use these first of all we're going to add some files so click add files and then go to desktop because that is where my files are located and I'm gonna go to the first video file and click open then scans it and here it is it's five seconds long and it's located in documents and it's 320 by 240 okay then my next file I'm gonna go to add files again and click on this one and open it here's my next file which is seven seconds long so it probably will be 12 seconds long at the end now you're gonna wanna pick a <clears throat> folder that the finishing project will end up in um, I already have my forge file just click change and put whatever file you want um, open click that too alright and then the out put format these two files are AVI files I can actually change the format to another thing like a different video format so I'm going to change it to DivX um, the quality is basically if you have the lowest quality you go faster the highest still goes slower but do keep in mind the higher the quality the more um, the bigger the file size it's going to be. So I'm just going to keep it at medium. Video codec. Um, I have DivX. You can choose the height 
I just stick with original. The audio codec, I'm just going to have MP3. Um, you can change the frame rate if you know how to change that. And also the volume. You can change the volume to whatever you want to make it louder or quieter. Right now I have my two files. I have what format I want to change into and the place I want to go. So I'm going to click join. It's now joining them right now. And there you go. Um, the only reason it took a couple seconds to do is because these two um, files are only a total of 12 seconds long. But if you have two movie files that are each hour long, it's going to take a lot longer. But it is supposed to be fast, and it is, so yeah. Right now I'm going to go to my Forge file. And here we go. And the reason it's still AVI, because I changed it to DivX is because DivX is basically AVI and for me all DivX things are just AVI by default. So I'll click on it and there is the first thing and then it changes to that. Okay, um yeah, so there is the combined file and as you can see this one is 514 kilobytes and this file is 771 this is 277 so it actually reduces the size um that is it and thank you for watching make sure to rate this video and also subscribe to my youtube